<laughs> yes, it's recording. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I forgot what we were, what we said we we're gonna do, but okay. Okay, we'll start to to watch the video, and then we read All the right. Can read everyone the see the screen? Yes. Yes. I can't play the video. Hi, it's Brother Hancock again. Today we're going to. Hello. What happened? Oh no. <laughs> Is the audio sharing? Can you guys hear it? Yeah, at first we hear it, but yeah. then. Oh, because I muted. Oh, damn it. I have to stay on. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Okay. So again. <laughs> I, my face isn't there talking to you. And that's not because I don't want to be part of what you're uh, doing in the course. It's because I really want you to focus on what's going on with the poem, right? Looking at the words of the poem, because that's what you really focus on in your own writing and I want you to really start thinking about those words because the words Define. that you see there are what's important that's what you have to support whatever mm -hmm. opinion you're expressing on the poem but today we're going to look at uh as I said one image that is one uh descriptive motif or one mm -hmm. way of describing things in the poem that seems to be important and that could happen in one small place in the poem, or it could spread out through the whole poem. And I'd like to look at one that comes up a lot in this poem. That is, we read, she walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. So I'm going to look at this dark and bright. That is, light and dark seem to come up in this poem a lot. And so I want to look at that image, the image of darkness and light, and I want to see what it's doing here. Okay, what is it doing in the poem? How does it work in the poem? So I'm going to take line by line this poem and look at what it has to say about darkness and light. So let's let's look at the beginning. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. So in some way, she, or the way she walks, or her beauty, we've got to decide that but it's like the night of cloudless climbs in the starry sky to me that says it's like night it's not like dark night it's not like a night where you can't see anything it's not a scary night or a, an ominous night it's uh a night where we can still see there's there's enough light okay uh let's keep going on all that's best of dark and bright need in her ass in her eyes. So there's something about not just darkness, but light. Again, there's sort of a balance going on here. Every time we talk about darkness, there's also some light, right? And it's, why is that? It says, thus mellowed to that tender light, which heaven to gaudy day denies. There's something about day that's gaudy or showy or flashy, right? If we looked up that word, it would tell us that that's what it means. Flashy, showy, that wants to be seen. So this isn't something that just says, hi, here I am over here. But there's a mellow light going on here. So there's something we can see, but that's mellow. It's not gaudy. It's not showy. Okay, let's go on. One shade the more, one ray the less, or a little bit darker, a little bit less light, had half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every raven tress or her hair. That is, there's something about her hair that's graceful. But if there was a little bit more darkness to it, if it was a little more, if there was more light, then it wouldn't be right. Okay, there has to be some kind of a particular balance that's going on here. Or softly lightens or her face. So we can only see her face in a particular light. And it's not darkness, but it's not showy. And there's something about that going on here. Where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. So we're going to stop there. I want to just by saying, okay, now we move on to this idea of her uh, personality, we might say, or um, her attitude, 
the way she conducts herself, the way she does things. Okay, and we move away from that light a little bit, although we come back to the tints that glow later. So I say, well, what is this saying then about this woman? And I'm going to make a, a case that you may you might not make. I've heard a lot of different cases. I've heard some people argue that it's he's just looking at her in a particular light, and it's the way when and where he sees her that makes her beautiful. I'm going to claim something a little bit different right here. I'm going to claim that this woman is uh, that he wants a woman who doesn't make a big show, okay? That he thinks that women should be reserved, quiet maybe, right? But ha have some sort of substance so that it's not darkness. So he doesn't want a woman who's never seen, but he wants a woman that doesn't put herself on display, okay? And that maybe he, that's what he thinks a woman should do is be there to be seen, but not put herself on display. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that that's what I think women should be, but I think it's what maybe Byron's saying here. Um, there, he could be saying lots of things, but by my look at this image, I can make a case that what he's doing with dark and light supports my idea that he wants women to sort of not make themselves seen, not put themselves out there to be seen, but not to hide either. So he can still see them. He likes to. Byron was very. He was sort of a ladies' man. He would still want to see the women, but he wouldn't want them, right, to put them, putting themselves out there and, and being showy and or flashy. So you can see how I can use an image and follow it through very closely, and then I can say this is why it's important. This is what it maybe says about the poem. So now you're going to try that with some poems of your own. Look closely at the words. Right, the words are what you have to make your case. You'll um, read some poems and then show me how an image is important in one of those poems. Thanks. Mm. Okay, I just got a notice that it will um, end in less than ten minutes. Really? Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's get discussing. Have we read through the poems though? Yeah. Yeah. Have we read through it? Okay, then we'll just discuss it then. Yeah. We'll just go through the okay. questions. Okay. Oh, we choose what okay. poem we choose. So we ha we have to choose one poem from that tree. We choose one. I think it's all of it. No. Oh. It says have to no, choose for the write up instructions, you choose one. Yeah. Oh, okay. For our recorded discussion, we talk about all three. Yeah. So we can discuss it in the video about like all three poems and then Annie can write about one of the ones that we pretty much probably focused on more. Yeah, that sounds others. good. Yeah, okay. I can do that. I think we can right. discuss the, the first kiss. Are you guys good with the first kiss? Which one's the yeah, first kiss? Like oh, first, first kiss. kiss. Do you want me to show it on the screen or should we, everyone just has it already on their thing? I have it on my thing. Okay. okay. All right. I'll stop sharing. All right. So I'll start reading it. Okay. The collusions of teeth, of tongues and lip. It's like filling for the door and in strange room, blindfolded. He, Im he image, he knows her after four dates, but of them taking pains to laugh correctly, to make eye contact. She thinks at least this long kiss, this long first kiss postponed the moment she'll have to face four white walls. The kitchen table, it bowls of dry petals and nutmeg hocks and jaunty yellow vase and one jaunty bloom. The answering machine once blew shut eye. I'm not pretty good in reading poem, poems. So, first question. Um, okay, so we're supposed to talk about what images are important in That's this poem. poem. Yeah. Um... Uh, just... Yeah, I think we have to read the two, and then we just have discussed the one. 
Is this the same? Can it be like uh, objects or emotions or like things that are included in the poem, like strange room, blindfolded, that gives us an image or like, like a picture of what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. What things are described and how are they described? It? The date? I think like the beginning, like um, like how she said, like it's in a strange room blindfolded. Like I think that's supposed to um like it's supposed to be like kind of uncertain kind yeah. of. Yeah. That's how she feels. Yeah, because it's some it's a, like it's like something new. Yeah, it's like kind of scary and uncertain, maybe yeah. vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's trusting him. Yeah. With this like vulnerable moment. Yeah. What have they been taking pains to laugh correctly after four years? They, they have been in dates and four dates. Like they know each other. Taking pains to laugh. Correctly. And then I'm taking is the do you, do you guys reckon uh I don't know, but the both of them taking pains to laugh correctly to make eye contact. Do you reckon it was like an awkward moment? Like <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like some sort of awkward moment in between that kiss and yeah. 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 That's and probably yeah. She's right. also like in the in the past, she thinks at least this long first kiss. Like it, it, in a way, it kind of describes her hope of what this first kiss might might do for her, not for the yeah. moment, but like for her, like in the next few moments. Yeah, face full white, yeah. white walls because she has to go back home. I think that's what she's trying to say. <laughs> well, where's she trying to go? Nah, jokes. Postpones the moment. She <laughs> Yeah, Flo, oh, what does that mean to you, Flo? Long first Christmas in the face for white. I think it's what? like she's in, 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 on the other hand, she's imagining, you know, first kiss, what if I fall in love with this person and then I get married to this person and then my place would be, you know, just in the house, you know, kitchen. The only place I see is in the house. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I know where you're coming you know, from. Back and, you know, she's imagining, like, on the other hand, I think. Hmm. Oh, I think postpone the moment she'll have to face four, four white walls. I think she's working at home, like, the what the kitchen table, the bowl dried petals, the nut bed hubs, the gentle yellow vase. And one jaunty blue. I think she's working something like white walls. And then just just coming back on that area, like she's coming back in the, the, the four white walls. She's postponing it just because for the, the long first kiss she has, she have with the, this guy. Did the kiss happen? Yeah, it said to, to make her, she think at least this long. This long mm-hmm. first kiss postponed the, the moment she'll have to face. It's like feeling for the door in the strange room. Blindfold. Like the kiss is happening and then... Because it says he imagines. Oh, he imagines? And then he imagines. she thinks. It's not, it doesn't say like... What if they're making pains to laugh correctly to make an eye contact? She thinks at is least... Is this like what she pictures her first kiss would be like? Or... I don't know. For some reason, it sounds like this is like, um, like a illusion that she's having. Yeah. Now that I read, it, I'm like, yeah, this collision. Did it even happen? It. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. feeling for the door in a strange room. Like she knows it's like something that's different mm-hmm. from like other things that she's done. And then it says he imagines he knows her after four dates. Mm. Like making like having awkward moments to make eye contact and then she thinks at least this long first kiss postpones the moment she'll have to face 
I don't know. It seems like it. It's not happening. Like it's all in her imagination <laughs> of what the first kiss would be like. Yeah, not that it happened. Sorry, we got less than two minutes. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know sorry that just kind of changed my thing when I read it like he imagines she thinks like wait did it happen yeah <laughs> how many how does the image affect the, the message of the poem how does the image affect how does, how does it help the image affect I think it just I think there's like too, uh, too many images happening <laughs> like, yeah it's, it's like, like every line is it, so like, detailed in that like, yeah like at first you picture it like, oh my gosh, they kissed. And then yeah. he imagines like, wait, what? <laughs> did, did, it, yeah. did, it, did it really happen or is imagination illusion? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. her hope of what this first kiss will do for her because like we've been taught about like, you know, night and shining, uh, shining armor, they'll come and like sweep us off our feet and then take us to a faraway land where they will provide for us or something like that i don't know <laughs> Castle, something like, whatever that, maybe answer the last question that that is how the poem make a point about an issue or a team yeah that's the issue something that <laughs> uh, it is did, it did happen or it just still it's imagine gonna it. end sorry guys it's gonna end <laughs> okay do we have did, enough <laughs> and I think we have enough. We discussed okay. this poem. I will post it in the um in, on YouTube and I'll send you the link. Okay. okay. Thank All right. Guys. Thanks, girls. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. <laughs>